Hello everyone, my name is Lex, and today I am going to show you how to make a wool factory of all sheep colors that gives you about 7.5 stacks in just under 1 minute, in about 50 seconds. And yeah, this is uh, pretty insane, and of course, uh, the 7.5 stacks are using one shear for each pot. Now you're surely wondering how this works. The sheep certainly don't regrow their um, actual wool fast enough for that to work. And that's true, they don't. But that's why we use certain manipulation tricks in order to make this work. So as you may know, for a player there's only a certain amount of simulated chunks. And we basically make use of this to make sure that those sheep are outside of the simulated chunks, but those dispensers with the shears are still inside the simulated chunks, and basically um, all the wool just comes from the dispenser itself, so it doesn't come from the sheep, the dispenser just checks if there's a sheep in front of it, and that will basically make it spam uh, actually the shears on the sheep, but because the sheep is outside of the simulation distance, it won't update. So let's just demonstrate what I mean. We're just going to go here, and that is our little chest where we put our stuff. And we're going to gear ourselves 16 shears, one for each color. And then it's just pretty simple, put everything in there. Once we have done that, we press the button and distribute them. As you can see, just the light will go on. And those shears will be evenly distributed across all those sheep. And that means we are ready. Now, what we simply do is go all the way to the other side right here and we make sure that we are behind this line and we flick this lever and we will have to wait about 50 seconds until this light right there goes off. As you can see the light turned off so that means we can turn this off and return and as you can see all those sheep are sheared and there is a ton of wool inside of every pot. Now, of course, I did use this two times before, but as you can see, it will already start collecting everything. There are hopper minecarts under each pod. If I just go there and collect, we have about two stacks. And let's also take that out. And then we also had what we had in here. And that is about seven and a half stacks. And that, of course, is for every sheep. So credit given where it's due, initially um, a technique to fast grow crops using simulation distance was found by 77 tigers. And I'm not sure if we could classify that as the same mechanic because this is using an entity and not a crop, you know, that doesn't uh, really do the same function. And the sheep one was uh, discovered by Panda4994, so I'll just over credit instead of under credit just in case, because crediting is important. Alright, before we get started with this, you're going to need a chunk border visualizer for this to be properly built, because this definitely needs to be chunk aligned, otherwise this won't work as intended, or at all. If you want one, there is one available in my Discord server for download, that one was made by ABC55 and Longstone Torch, but it is available to download in my Discord server, so if you want to join that, link is in the description, and if you already have one, uh, well, let's get to building. Now those are the materials that you're going to need, now do keep in mind that the amount of solid blocks, glass and grass is approximate and you may need more or less and the redstone dust also didn't really bother counting but two stacks should be fine. Alright so let's start building this, you're going to want to look for either a blue or a red line, it doesn't really matter which color it is, and now you're just going to want to make sure that you see the direction in which you're going to build. So if this is going to be the front of your uh, wool farm, and the, you know, the thing that sticks out the back is going to go in this direction, just build it on that line. And it doesn't matter if a line goes across like this, it just needs to be aligned with the line that goes right across um, on the actual front side of your wool farm. Now you're just going to want to take some chests and place 16 double chests with one block spacing. So just do like this. And then 16 total, you get the idea. Once you got that, you are going to want to place one hopper on top of each chest, just like that. Now place one rail on top of each hopper, we're going to remove those later, but they're going to make placing um, hopper minecarts and grass easier. 
just place grass on top like that now and then place your hopper minecarts below. Now once you are done placing all of your hopper minecarts you can break the rails we're going to need those later for the shear distribution system and if you're in survival then your shears will most likely have no, I mean your rails will most likely have ended up inside of the chests down below so just make sure to look inside of there and pick all of them up because you do need 27 rails. Now go up by one block, place one grass right there, and you're going to want to pull grass all across just like that. We're going to need that grass to make sure that, you know, the actual grass where the sheep stand on regrows as fast as possible. You're just going to want to pull that all the way around. Now make sure to fill in the little spots between the hopper minecarts, and as you can see the hopper minecarts will also be stuck in place, which is good. And what you're going to want to do now is go up by one. Make sure you don't leave the salt block too long there so that the grass stays green. And you are going to want to make little U shapes just like that. Actually, let's first just pull this across and then make it stick out two blocks on every spot where there isn't an elevated grass block. Very simple. So by now it should look like this, this chunk line should be going right across there and we're going to place one dispenser in each of those little spots right there. Now it is very important that the dispenser is right up against this line right here because this will mean that the sheep will be outside of the simulated area and the dispenser will be inside the simulated area. Just place one dispenser between each of these little gaps and after that we can place the hoppers on top. Now these hoppers are just there so that we can properly distribute shears using a minecart. Now take your glass and put it on top of the grass. It has to be glass because glass doesn't actually make uh, grass decay. And that is very important because we want to keep this grass fresh and green so that it can regrow the bottom grass as fast as possible. So once you got that done, you're going to want to go to the second dispenser at, from one end of the line and pull it to the second last dispenser on the other end of the line. You're just going to want to place one block and then make it go one down and just make sure that we don't run out of signal strength while we are trying to make this. And just pull some redstone on top and it should look just like this. Now get to the center, it should be pretty easy to see and you're going to want to go out by one block just like that. Place one dispense, uh, I mean repeater like that, and you are going to want to go out by three, actually four, go out by four. Place one redstone comparator just like that, and place some dust going just like this. Now go to the back side, place one repeater like that, and you're going to pull this out right up against, you cross this chunk border right here and place one repeater. Now, you're going to want to make sure that your world simulation distance is at 4 chunks. If it is any longer, you're going to have to adapt this, and while it will work, I recommend just having it on 4 because it simplifies many things. And how we're going to do this with a chunk simulation distance 4, we're just going to make sure that this is the 4th chunk. So, this is number 4, this would be number 3, number 2, number one and number zero. I'm just going to build some numbers so that you can see what I mean. So as you can see this is number four, this is number three, two, one, zero, and we're just going to pull a line of solid blocks all the way up until we reach the chunk zero, and the chunk zero is the one we're going to sit in. Now make sure that you don't go much further than that, and then just make sure that you go into chunk one, place one repeater right there, another right there, just basically always add to the chunk borders and there we go. Now just take some redstone dust and place it like that, all the way until you reach chunk zero and place your lever just right inside of that chunk right there. Now this is recommended but you don't have to do it, you can just make yourself a line just like that and that way you will see which line you cannot cross and this is very simple so you just have to stand behind that line and yeah now next step is just to go out by one block right there you can break that and put one comparator reading from that dispenser right there 
go up by one block. Actually, you don't have to, you can just place your lamps straight there, and this lamp will basically tell you when you are ready to load the chunks again, when all of this uh, actual shears are used up completely. Alright, now let's just clean up the front for a second. Um, just put some blocks between each chest, of course that is optional, I just think it looks better if it is like that. And then you're going to want to play some stairs just like that. That is even more optional, I think I didn't even include the stairs in the materials list. But uh, yeah, just uh, that makes sure that you cover up the hoppers, it looks nice and tidy. And... Yeah, make sure that you do not put any blocks right here, because the grass will decay, and we do not want that to happen. Of course, if you want to, you can play something like this, and cover it up even more. And now that we're done with all the chunk shenanigans, you can just turn off your chunk visualizer. Alright, now just go to the left side of your wool factory, and put one sort of block there, put down one lever right here, flick it, and put down three part rails, now you're going to want to take out these normal rails all the way until you are almost at the other side. Let's just stop right there and then just make some salt blocks going up. Make yourself a little platform just like that and you are going to want to place one solid block right here. Place a button on the side of it, one part rail, one normal rail and two powered rails. Now you can just place your chest minecart on top of it. Now just get yourself one sheep in each of those pods. And of course you're going to want to make sure that each sheep has one of the 16 dye colors. So yeah, that's pretty simple. Just dye them. And of course baby sheep won't work, but eventually they'll grow and you will see. So, we colored all of sheep, and by the way, if you need a dye farm, you can simply check out my advanced flower farm, and that will be very simple and get you tons of dye with minimal amounts of boat meal. And that is your sheep all in place. Now, this is optional, but I do recommend it. You can place yourself a ladder right here, so that you can easily access the actual system in which you put the shears. Now before we do launch the minecart, just make sure to put your last lever right there, that will make sure those rails are powered. And since all the shears are in there, we can power this, and this will distribute all the shears between those dispensers. And as you can see, um, this light turned on, that means that there are shears in there, we can just check that out. There's one shear, and if done properly, then there will be one shear in each dispenser. And that means we are ready to use the farm, so everything is ready, and we can just go right there. Now, a few tips before you start this. Of course, like I said before, make sure simulation distance is on 4. Make sure you are behind this line. Make sure that you don't go any further than this chunk right here, because the dispensers still need to be loaded. And if that's done, you can just turn on the lever, and it will keep pulsing the dispensers until the shears are completely used up. And you can just check that lamp right there. Actually, we can just turn down our FOV so that you can see it better. As you can see, this lamp right here will turn off once all the shears are used up. And there you go, as you can see the lamp turned off, and we can just turn this off right here. Let's turn our FOV back to normal, which is 70 in our case. And we're just going to go over there. As you may have seen, the wool dropped all at the same time, and as you can see, it will all start going into this chest right here. Of course, you need to wait until it all goes down there. Now, before you can reuse this, I would recommend waiting for all the sheep to regrow their wool, and this should go fairly quickly, as you can see, because there's a lot of grass that will make sure this piece of grass, where the sheep stand on, will regrow quickly. Now, if you do want to use this again, get, um, get 16 more shears, and you're going to want to place them in there again. Once again, press the button, and from there, it's the same process as before, but of course, you have to wait for all the sheep to regrow their wool. And actually, let's just collect that up so that we don't have to wait. Okay, I guess it did that before. And if we just look down there... As you can see, that will be about seven and a half stacks. So that will be for every single sheep, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. As you can see, for the sign as well, that even got us around eight stacks. So yeah, it may get less than seven and a half or more. It doesn't really matter much because that is plenty. 
All right, there we go. Pretty much the most overpowered sheep or aka wool farm in the game. Of course, this can be made better because technically you can use four dispensers per sheep and that will get you wool faster. And if you want to, you can also load more shears in at the same time. And that way you will have to wait less until you reuse this farm right there. But I just recommend using it one shear at once because uh, I don't know why we should do more. Because of course the items may also despawn if they can't be picked up fast enough by the hopper minecarts and put into the chests. So yeah, don't overdo this. But uh, with that being said, 70 some divers, panda 4994, links will all be in the description. Although I don't believe a 70 some tigers has a link for his simtic thing. But uh, yeah, panda 4994 did show this off on Billy Billy, which is a Chinese website, which is basically the equivalent of YouTube. And uh, yeah, that's where the original sheep farm using simulation systems came from. Now, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video and hope that you got a ton of views out of this because this tutorial did take quite a long time to make and also, of course, to all the people who developed this technology, thank you very much because this is overpowered. Now, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you get a ton of views out of this. And make sure to subscribe because I do keep these tutorials coming on a regular basis and yeah, I'm sure that you will enjoy them. And uh, with that being said, mine is next and bye bye.